In this video we're going to look at algebraic fractions and division involving them. So here's our first example, a over b divided by a over c. And before we look at this example, let's just have a quick look at a numerical example. So if I had two thirds divided by three quarters. If I wanted to do something like that, what I do is I multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Or some students call it keep change flip. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two thirds and I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is four thirds, of the second fraction. And then what I do is I just simply multiply the top numbers together. So two times four is equal to eight. I multiply the denominators together. Three times three is equal to nine. So two thirds divided by three quarters is equal to eight ninths. So we're going to use the same technique whenever we're dealing with algebraic fractions. So we've got a over b. And we're going to multiply that by the reciprocal of the second fraction, so that's c over a. And whenever I multiply those together, well, I could cancel it down before I multiply, so I could cancel this a, or the numerator up here, with the denominator here, um, or you could just times them to get ac over ab, and then cancel the a's to get equal to c over b. So a over b divided by a over c is equal to c over b. Okay, so we uh, keep the first fra uh, fraction the same, we multiply, and then we multiply by the reciprocal of the second one. And just make sure you cancel anything down, because a times c is ac, a, uh, b times a is ab, cancel the a's, c over b. Okay, our next one. This time we've got x over 4 divided by 2x over 9. So again, we keep the first fraction as it is, we multiply by the reciprocal of the second one, so 9 over 2x. Again, you can cancel this down before you multiply, um, or you could just multiply them and then cancel down. So let's just multiply it. So it's going to be 9x over 8x. And now we can cancel down. We can cancel the x's. That'll leave us with 9 over 8, 9 eighths. Or as a mixed number, 1 and 1 eighth. Okay? So that's how you divide x over 4 by 2x over 9. Next example. Our next example, we've got x minus 3 over 15 divided by x squared minus 3x over 5. So before I do this one, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to factorize the top line. And that just might help later on. So we've got x minus 3 over 15. And we're going to divide that by, I'm factorizing the, numer uh, the numerator, would be x bracket x minus 3. As you can see, x squared minus 3x, you can take an x out to leave you x bracket x minus 3, all divided by 5. Now, we're going to keep change flip or uh, multiply by the reciprocal of the second one. So it's going to be x minus 3 over 15 times by 5 over x bracket x minus 3. Now again, you can cancel down at this stage if you know how to. I'm just going to multiply and then cancel down. So let's just multiply them together. So and I'm going to keep them in brackets. So 5 bracket, so multiplying the numerators, 5 times x minus 3. Well, that's 5 bracket x minus 3 over and let's just multiply to the denominator so that's going to be 15 x bracket x minus 3 let's just put them all together okay let's now cancel out so i'll cancel down uh, so the x minus 3s will cancel and also you've got 5 fifteenths well 5 fifteenths will cancel down to one third so the answer will be 1 over 3x so that's how you divide those fractions there okay and our last example our last example we have got <clears throat> x plus 2 over x plus 4 divided by 3x plus 6 over x squared minus 16. So again I'm going to factorize before I begin. So it's going to be x plus 2 over x plus 4. We're going to divide by and let's factorize. So 3 bracket x plus 2 bracket or over. And on the denominator this is difference between two squared. So that's going to be x plus 4 x minus 4. And now I'm going to do keep change flip or multiply by the reciprocal of the second one. So it's going to be x plus 2 over x plus 4. And we're going to multiply that by x plus 4 x minus 4 over 3x or 3 bracket x plus 2. And when we multiply these together, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply them and just put them all beside each other. Uh, so let's multiply the numerators together. So x times x plus 4 times, or sorry, x plus 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 4. Well, that's going to be, let's put all the brackets beside each other, x plus 2, x plus 4, and x minus 4. And then on the numerator, just put them beside each other. So we've got x plus 4 times 3 
times x plus 2. Well, I'm just going to put the 3 at the front and then x plus 4, x plus 2. And now we're just going to cancel down where possible. So if we cancel down, we've got an x plus 4 in the numerator, an x plus 4 in the denominator. We've got an x plus 2, uh, 2 on the numerator, we've got an x plus 2 in the denominator. So that's just going to leave us with x minus 4 over 3. And that's it.